with the introduction of iPadOS 15, Apple made a number of changes to the way multitasking and split view work on an iPad. So while both of these functions still cannot be considered to be intuitive, both functions are now a lot easier to use. Let's get started by first opening Safari Browser. As you can see, at the top of the screen we have three dots. These three dots inform us that the application we have open can be placed into split view mode. If we tap the three dots, we're presented with the icons for the different modes that we can use. Center window, split screen view, and slide over. As center window is the default view that all apps will open in, let's start with split view. As you can see, the Safari application is placed on the far left side of the screen, which is a prompt for us to open the second app that we wish to use in split view. Let's open a second app. Our two apps now appear side by side on our screen, allowing us to multitask. If needed, we can change the order in which these two apps are being displayed. So for example, if we wish to place the app on the right side of the screen, over on the left side of our screen. If we choose one of our apps and hold our finger on its options button, we can change the order that our apps appear by dragging it towards the opposite edge of our screen and then releasing our finger. One feature that we noticed while we were making this video is that you can have multiple instances of split view. To better demonstrate what we mean, let's return to the home screen. One way to do this is from the bottom of our screen, swipe up towards the top. If we now open another application and place that app into split view, along with a fourth app, we can jump between the four apps that we have open in split view. We can do this either by using the app switcher or by selecting one of the apps that we currently have in split view. Let's return to the home screen. To load App Switcher, we simply need to swipe from the bottom of our screen up towards the middle of the screen. Then when we see part of an app appear on the left side of our screen, by releasing our finger, we will display the App Switcher. When App Switcher loads, it will display all apps currently open on our iPad. So by selecting our second instance of split view, our two apps will reappear. Let's return to the home screen. An alternative way to display our second split view is to try and reload one of the apps that we have in split view. So for example, if from our dock we select Firefox, the second split view that we created will open. If we want to close one of the apps that we have open in split view, if we return to App Switcher, by swiping up on the app that we wish to close, we will close that app and force the second app to revert to displaying in center view. However, if you do not want to close either of the apps that you have in split view, but you want to revert your apps back to center view, if from within split view, we select one of the options icons and then choose center view, we will stop using split view as both apps will revert to center view. The final view option is a mode called slide over, which as the name suggests, you can use to show or hide a second app. So for example, if while we work in one app, we want a way to monitor the live score at a sporting event, we can use slide over mode to check to see what's happening. As you can see, we have a live feed of a football match loaded into Safari. So if we select the options icon and then choose slide over, the Safari app is pushed to the right side of our screen. If we now open the main app that we wish to work in, for example, news, the Safari app will float on top of the news app. We can now move the Safari app to either the left or right side of our screen. However, the main benefit of slide over is that we can move the Safari app off screen so that we only have the news app viewable. Then when we want to check what's happening in the match, we can bring out Safari so that it once again floats over the news app. To hide Safari, if we press and hold our finger over the options icon and then swipe our finger to the right of our screen, Safari will be hidden from view. However, a small tab will briefly indicate that the app has been placed off screen. So if we use our finger to swipe from the right side of our bezel towards the center of our screen, Safari will once again reappear. Then if we wish rather than have Safari float on top of the news app, 
By using the options icons, we can either place the two apps in split view or place Safari in center view. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how on an Apple iPad, we can use limited multitasking through either split view or float over modes. However, it's worth noting for those that do not like to multitask on their iPads, that it would appear that there is no longer an option to disable multitasking on an iPad that is running iPadOS 15 or higher.